What is up everybody? It's Joe from JLW Games coming at you with another cool video back in Planet Coaster in Arrow Valley. So today we're going to be working a little bit more on the parking lot. We're going to make some adjustments here and we're going to be working on the entrance plaza plus the uh, kind of the ticket booth kind of uh, where you can buy your tickets and stuff. So uh, I also got some amazing news. So I'm upgrading my computer. Awesome. Yes. Um... I actually have already put part of the upgrade in the in this episode now, so I've already uh, been using part of the upgrade. And uh, the first upgrade is I, I got a new power supply um, for my PC. I went from 500 watts, and now I'm up to 750 watts uh, on my power supply. So that's awesome. Um, and I only did that because of the other thing that I'm upgrading, in, and that is a new graphics card. That is right. I am upgrading from my... 660 Ti, my uh, GeForce, NVIDIA GeForce 660 Ti. I'm going from that to the uh, ring, or you get that drum roll, please. I am heading on to the NVIDIA GeForce 1080 Ti, the brand new uh, graphics card that came out not too long ago and has been sold out in a lot of places lately. And uh, I was able to get my hands on one. Um, from my local Best Buy. Uh, it won't be here for another 10 days, unfortunately, so actually it will come in on the 11th, and I can't wait. Um, I actually know how to install it myself. I installed the power supply myself, so hopefully I'll have no problem installing it. Now I'm hoping... <coughs> excuse me, sorry. That was probably really loud. Now I'm hoping that um, it's not going to be any issues with anything. Hopefully I don't have to upgrade anything else. Uh, like, hopefully I don't have any performance issues having such a beefy graphics card uh, on this upgrade. They, and so I brought it to Best Buy and they said that it should be fine. So um, if anything, maybe I'll eventually get some, you know, upgrade my RAM as well. That's an another thing I want to upgrade. But uh, anyways, the 660 Ti that I've had uh, has been a great graphics card and um, I'm definitely going to keep it um, for, <coughs> excuse me, for a spare graphics card ever, just in case I ever need one. Uh, I like keeping that stuff. I always like to keep my old parts just in case, you know, I ever need to, um, you know, ever, if something happens, you know, I have a backup or, of some sort. So it's very, very, <coughs> excuse me, cool news because I'll be able to bring some higher quality videos to you guys. Now, the cool thing about this is I'm going to be holding off on the cinematic video for Westwood for this particular reason. That way I can have, you know, the better graphics card recording um you know the povs and stuff i think that's gonna be really cool so if you guys will uh, help just wait just a couple more weeks on that video and um hopefully it will just be a better overall quality because i want to make sure it's the highest quality as possible so that's going to be really really cool and uh <coughs> excuse me i think i gonna have the graphics on high right now for this park at, at the moment so uh, I haven't explained one thing yet of what I'm doing in this park, and uh, yeah, so here in the uh, parking lot, I wanted to finish up the parking lot, which we did in the episode one, of course, and, you know, get all these um, gates or fences around. <coughs> Excuse me, I am so sorry, I have this, like, terrible cough, and um, there's no way I could take a whole take without coughing, so uh, I apologize for that, uh, if it's really loud and uh, just... Uh, uh, shield your ears or put the volume down just a little bit. I'm trying not to cough directly into the mic, but anyways, back back to what I was saying uh, in this parking lot and stuff. So if you haven't seen already, I already adjusted it to where there's kind of like this walkway. Uh, a lot of people uh, was saying I needed a walkway for the guests because the guests are going to be walking down the center anyways. I didn't want them walking right in front of the drive. So uh, we're going to have this little walkway and kind of widen, uh, widen the center up a little bit. Uh, where the cars are going to be driving around. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. Oh my goodness, this cough is just ridiculous. And it just got worse as soon as I start talking. It, it only, I only really start coughing when, when I start uh, talking, actually, which is terrible. So, anyways, now we're moving on more into the entrance plaza, which is going to be really cool because um, it's going to be kind of uh, where the ticket booth's going to be, and then it's going to lead up to the. Uh, entrance of the park, which um, I'm kind of starting to plan out of how the entrance is going to look. It's going to be kind of cool. Um, the um, ticket booth turns out really, really cool. If you haven't seen of course you see it at the very beginning of the video. Um, it's very, very cool. <coughs> Excuse me. 
So this entrance plaza is, um, it's, it's not it, too, it's not too small, but it's, uh, it's kind of smaller. Uh, at least, uh, it's not completed yet, of course, and there's going to be a little bit more to it. Um, but, um, uh, what you're seeing in this episode, this is a pretty long episode, I have to say. And, um, I don't get a whole lot done because I'm trying to figure things out as I go along. And that's kind of the, um, thing with this episode. And, uh, I do a lot of trial and error and change up different things as I go along. So, especially with this curb here that I was going to put around these, um, uh, the pathway here is, <coughs> excuse me, oh gosh, I hit my keyboard too. <laughs> I've changed it a quite a few times and, um, of what I was going to do. And it, it's kind of interesting because uh, I was going with uh, this at first and then I decided to change it to like this brick texture in the end, which actually turned out pretty cool. And I made it like a uh, part where um, guests are going to be able to sit on it because I put actual benches on the inside of them uh, and I actually hid them. It's going to be really, really neat. And because um, I get to this part and I'm like, it's going underground for some reason, like the uh, ground is uneven, which made no absolutely no sense to me. So um, I just kind of messed around of what I was going to do here. So um, I, d I decided to settle on the brick texture here because I thought it looked pretty good and pretty nice for a generic park. Uh, and it does. It looks it goes very well. So uh, I thought it was very appropriate and looked really, really good. So um, incoming cough. Excuse me. I don't know what it is. Like, I don't know. This cough is getting ridiculous. And, uh, but, you know, the show must go on and, um, you gotta get stuff done. So, um, yeah, I spent a lot of time on actually this curb here. Um, so it's kind of interesting. You know, um, I'm definitely taking my time on this park. I'm not rushing it. So these time lapses might get boring at sometimes, unfortunately. But, hey, that's what I'm here commentating for is to try and at least try to keep you entertained. But um, I can't tell you how excited I am for my new graphics card. It's going to be awesome, and I hope it turns out uh, the way I'm hoping because I heard a lot of positive reviews, and a lot of people have been buying them, and they've been sold out a lot of places. So it's going to be really neat. Uh, this is a $700 graphics card. And <coughs> on top of that, of course, I had to get a new power supply that's going to be able to power the dang thing. So uh, it's it's pretty it's a pretty big investment for my um, upgrading my PC. So... Um, I literally took it in there and said, okay, what do I, what should I upgrade? Do I need to add any fans? Do I need to, um, add a new power supply? Because I figured I was going to have to get a new power supply, um, to power this thing. Because this is a gonna, this is a beefy, um, graphics card that I just purchased. And it will be here, uh, in about 10, because they didn't have any in stock in the store. So they actually had to order it online for me, which is, which is fine. Because, um, they're like, I was like, well, I could get the regular 1080, um, right here, right now, or I can wait. 10 days and actually get the um ti which i've heard is actually a vast improvement from the regular 1080 so um, i'm very excited for that <coughs> so i tried to save some time here and try to copy this uh, curb to the other side uh, it worked halfway and then i had to kind of readjust it uh, to match it because it wasn't perfectly um symmetrical with the other side which is okay I mean, it's it's very hard to notice. One side's a little bit bigger than the other, um, but it's not a huge thing, and it actually ends up being okay. So, um, but again, I, I spend a lot of time in this episode with these curbs and just like this plaza in general. And uh, I I really wanted to get the um, entrance in this episode, but I just couldn't really fit it in because I was already pushing a two-hour. Um, time lapse so or two two hours of gameplay in here so and usually I don't go that long but um, these episodes are going to be a little bit longer uh, for the simple fact that I'm going to be working <coughs> a lot on these um a lot on this uh, park and uh, and it's detailing because I want to make sure you know I get a, at least a substantial amount done uh, you know in an episode uh, so it's going to be a lot longer and I'm, I've been considering actually making faster time lapses uh, where the video sped up just a little bit more, uh, because a lot of people are saying I should do that. <coughs> oh my goodness, I feel I, it probably sounds like I'm dying, but I'm, I promise I'm okay. But anytime I talk, I just get this tickle in my throat, and it's just terrible. Like this, this is something that lasts like literally weeks, and it's absolutely dreadful. But anyways, um, 
I got a lot of positive responses of the first episode, even though it was just a parking lot, so that makes me very excited for the rest of the park and the actual park itself. And again, we're here on episode two and we're still not even inside the park yet. We're actually just to the entrance of the park. You know, we're just now getting to the plaza, entrance plaza, the ticket booth, and different stuff like that. So we're gonna have a place for tickets, then I'm going to make a building uh, for like guest relations and different things like that, like Lost and Found. Maybe even a security building uh, for, you know, purpose, realism purposes and all that stuff. I think it'll be really cool. And then, of course, we'll have the entrance itself. <coughs> Excuse me. And again, you know, I had a uh, couple of reference photos from different things. Um, uh, you know, King's Island, um, King's Island's ticket booth and just different things like that. Um, I don't want you to think that I'm going too much off of King's Island. A lot of you have said don't make their entrance, that their entrance is ugly, but um, everything here is going to be original, and you know, I'm more going leaning towards inspiration as in kind of like a layout, kind of, and just altering everything in a way. So um, it's very nice to use, like reference photos, and I really recommend it <coughs> if you have a park that you just like how it looks and stuff just take a look at that picture and just like completely change it up in a way and kind of like your own way um that's kind of some neat advice that i i've really kind of <coughs> figured out anyways so again i i know it's probably really annoying but i apologize for the cough and i can't apologize enough because it's probably really loud and <coughs> obnoxious but um but I promise I'm not dying, I promise. This is like some, I think it's like some allergy I get every year because I have this really obnoxious cough for like weeks every single year. It's about the same time of the year. It's kind of annoying, but, um, <coughs> excuse me. But anyways, uh, and yeah, I put like benches under these, uh, that way to see if, um, guests will actually sit down on the, uh, concrete or the, uh, concrete on the, um, on the uh, curb there. Uh, I think it'd be kind of it's gonna be kind of neat and hopefully it won't be or it look at least hopefully look a little bit natural and that's gonna be the hope so uh, there's this little walkway weeding or weeding up leading up to the um, uh, entrance plaza and uh, it's just gonna be a normal like we've been doing uh, it's just a little bit of a shorter piece of <coughs> excuse me of like foliage that's gonna be on the inside here so that's gonna be it's gonna be cool just you know just some uh, more fences like this. And of course the flags, um, I'm kind of thinking I'm overdoing it a little bit on the flags, but you know, I like, I really like the flags. I think they're turning out really, really cool. So that's going to be very, very nice. Uh, so the next episode, after we get done here, uh, with the ticket booth and everything, we're going to be really kind of working on the other, uh, buildings in the entrance plaza. And hopefully I'm very, I'm really trying to stay hopeful here, here that I can't talk today that we're going to, um, get to the entrance itself. Uh, the actual entrance building. Again, I wanted to make it real modern, and um, I wanted to maybe feel kind of like Cedar Point entrance, kind of like a very modern kind of entrance. You know, there's no turnstiles uh, because turnstiles are actually starting to die out now. They have just the scanners, and they don't really use turnstiles anymore in most parks, and that's kind of interesting. So, <coughs> but of course, um, we all still say turnstiles for when we, we're talking about the entrance of the park, of course. So. Uh, anyways, um, that's going to be fun. I, I really want to make it a, a, a powerful entrance and everything. A lot of people have been wanting, you know, a front gate coaster, uh, like in some parks that you have seen in like the Cedar Fair chain. Uh, like, you know, Carowinds, of course, has Fury 325 going over the entrance. You know, Gatekeeper over <coughs> the front gate of um, uh, Cedar Point. And if I do anything like that, I want to make sure it's completely unique and something that's much different, you know, and something that's not um, exactly the same. Or it'd be kind of uh, just a completely different kind of thing. Now, I'm not entirely sure if I still if I'm going to do that. Um, I, a lot of people think it would sound said it sounded kind of cool, but um, I might consider it someday down the line. Just n maybe not yet, uh, as in you know, maybe add it as a future attraction someday. Um, you know, like, you know, Gatekeeper was, you know, they renovated their entrance and everything like that. I'm not saying I would probably renovate the entrance, but maybe just kind of uh, <coughs> rebuild it in a way. I don't know. But anyways, that's getting a little off topic uh, because that's going to be further down the line. But anyways, um, this, ep 
I know this episode is probably kind of crappy uh, for the simple fact, you know, we're making this entrance pause and it takes forever for me to actually get anything done. <coughs> and, you know, the commentary just is crap because of, you know, the constant coughing and the voice starting to go out, of course. <coughs> oh my goodness. Like, it's absolutely dreadful. And uh, I do apologize. I, I don't know how many times I've apologized, but um, I know it's probably hard if you are if you have, like, headphones on and stuff. Uh, but it just happens, and um, <coughs> what do you want me to do? Am I going to, you know, delay an episode just because uh, I can't talk properly? <laughs> but uh, I didn't think that was the, the, the fact. So now we get to a, a little more interesting part, probably the most interesting part of the series so far, and that is the first building, which is going to be uh, the little ticket booth area, which is actually, <coughs> it turns out to be one of the, uh, my most favorite buildings that I've ever built, <laughs> actually, <clears throat> because I get kind of cr try to get a little bit creative here uh, with my detailing of the building, and um, I start off with just the ticket entrance or ticket booth area uh, by itself. And uh, again, I was looking at a couple of different ticket booths while I was doing this, and tried to like really create something really kind of original, um, but it's nothing too fancy or special. It's pretty basic and simple, but it it's very modern-y kind of feel to it, and uh, it looks. I mean, you've seen it. You've seen it at the uh, beginning of the video, but um, I think it it really has that uh, majestic feel. Like it's pretty big. Like uh, like oh my goodness, this ticket booth's big, so this park must be awesome. You know, it's gonna give you some really good first impressions of the park of how it's gonna feel. Like, wow, that you know, ticket booth entrance, or that ticket building looks awesome, and it, you know, it, all you do is buy tickets there, uh, and I had a lot of issues of trying to figure this part out, <coughs> you know, I've seen other people do it where you actually can, um, sync the, um, signs in just right to where just the, um, uh, text is shown, and to not actually show, or actually use the sign itself, you know, that way you get just the text on a, a different kind of texture, uh, of the wall or something like that. So I had a lot of issues of how I want to do it because I wanted it to be small on the little um, smaller parts right there. Like if I could just get it down, I couldn't. I couldn't get it. You know, if I, I was thinking about doing that, but I was like, man, they don't have any smaller signs that fit on this piece because that's what I originally was going to have that little trim spot on the top for. Is was going to say, you know, the tickets, uh, different signs on there. But I ended up putting it on the top part. Um, because the signs were just too big and I couldn't find a sign that actually worked properly with doing that. So, um, <coughs> again, there was a lot of trial and error with this. And um, I finally figured out uh, how to get it to the way I wanted. And uh, it turned out okay. So, I'm actually pretty pretty pumped about it. So, I, I, I spend way too much time on this. I will say that. I do spend way too much time on this. But in the end, it is okay to spend too much time on it. Because I want to make sure it's done right before it's done wrong. So um, a lot of trial and error comes with these buildings and each building I'm going to li literally be probably doing stuff like this and just experimenting a little bit and changing different things. Like I tried to do this little cover kind of thing and I was like, eh, no, no, let me get rid of this and I'm going to do it in a different way. Um, so, <clears throat> you know, I had lots of different ideas and I tried each of one of them out and I was like, okay, I'll do a smaller cover that's going over and make it like this interesting like powder blue which is kind of an interesting color itself like the color combination i chose for this building is actually very interesting like this brown and tan colors along with this like baby blue kind of like this powder blue uh, i thought it was a very interesting combination you know and it kind of looks weird in a way but at the same time it's very eye-catching and very like kind of pleasing to the eye in my opinion but um i know a lot of people probably won't think so at uh, completely, but uh, I think it looks pretty good. <coughs> and, and, and anyways, so I want to make this. I, I, I want to make this park as realistic as possible. I'm very, very um, strong on that, uh, especially for this park. So I want to make sure there's back areas um, of the park. You know, only employees are going to be able to access different things like that. I think it's going to be interesting. So as for the ticket booth. To get started, you know, I'm going to have two different spots for your um, season pass tickets that you can buy, and then three other ones for day tickets, <coughs> or day passes. You know, so these three over here are going to be day tickets. 
or day passes. And then you can buy season passes on the other side. I thought that would be, you know, kind of a realistic thing. You know, it makes sense. <coughs> and, you know, it's got quite a few stalls for, you know, if the line gets long. You know, they, or if it's a slower day, you know, they can have just one booth open. Or if it's a busier day, they can have all the booths open and just different things like that. And um, the one, another uh, big tip for making buildings or decent buildings that I have is just to make sure that they're not just all square. And make sure they have some unique shapes and elements to them. And by when I say that, just make sure that, you know, it doesn't make a rectangular shape or just a square shape. Add on to those and make some very interesting uh, shapes as well. And then, of course, you can always add um, buildings next to them that are kind of diagonal. That also adds a lot to it as well to make it look a little more realistic and more unique as well. <coughs> and, you know, just make it um, interesting. So I had a lot of different ideas going through my mind. And, you know, when I make a trim kind of uh, stylish trim kind of, uh, I always end up, you know, saying mm, maybe I can add more to that trim itself like as you can see here it's kind of like adding a trim on a trim almost in this section right here so I thought it was very interesting so now going back to the um, not making your building square and boring um, I decided to make these like towers that are just a different level as than as the other walls so they're different levels they're different heights and I think that just adds a little bit more uniqueness to this building that there's a lot of different heights of um, and levels uh, to the building itself altogether, and um, I think it looks kind of cool. It almost looks like a park entrance itself um, in a way, but it's kind of not at the same time. So uh, I knew I had to like um, try and create some sort of trim and a different kind of um, <coughs> different kind of um, details for these kind of like two towers on the sides. I figured there, uh, for this building, you know, that, you know, I had to make an entrance and exit for the workers uh, when they go into the booths, of course. Uh, you know, they have to have a way to get in and out of the area of this building, and, you know, there's going to be a back part of it as well for different uh, storage items. It's just different things. I want to make sure that the building's big enough to be kind of realistic to be a uh, booth, uh, you know, a ticket booth for um, buying tickets and everything, so... Because you have five booths, you're going to want to have plenty of space behind it as well. So um, adding details, it really goes down to, you know, just like different kinds of trims. Try different things out and see what you find. Try recoloring different things, and it works really cool. And then, of course, you got to add your windows, doors, and different things like that. Maybe even some lights as well. Uh, I think I'm still going to light this building up a little bit uh, differently once we get around to it. And of course, then I was about uh, at the point where I'm like, we do need to add a little bit more blue uh, to these towers as well. So I do end up doing that later on <coughs> because, um, you know, there's just one part that had that baby blue. And I was like, maybe that should be uh, uh, have some different colors going on here. So and then as for uh, some windows up here, so there's uh, some more levels up here. So you could have some potential like different off, maybe some offices or something. So, like, maybe the ticket booth have their own offices for, like, supervisors or something <coughs> are working up there or something just along those lines. Uh, or really thought, you were thinking through that kind of stuff. So, uh, so those, <coughs> I really like using those windows for, like, modern -y kind of, you know, windows and stuff because, you know, I haven't really made many modern buildings. But uh, I think this uh, turns out really, really nicely. And um, again, the color choice I, that I came up with was very interesting, I thought. Um, and these brown tans and then these blues just kind of look very interesting to me. And again, I don't know if they're necessarily go, go all these colors go well together, but uh, I still was pretty impressed of uh, how they looked. I thought they looked pretty good. Now, another <coughs> issue I tried to, excuse me, uh, that I kind of came into this building that was kind of difficult in a way was um, kind of the pathing connecting the path to this building and um, I think that's going to be the big one of the biggest challenges in the park as well is because I want to make sure the pathing uh, is definitely a little bit more detailed than Westwood as well I want to make sure that you know there's path elements and that um, there's just some more 
details to them, you know, um, and making sure this park's going to probably have some wider paths and more open paths, more like Cedar Point or Kings Island or some of your other Six Flags parks and stuff. And rather than the narrow paths like Dollywood or Silver Dollar City, <clears throat> kind of those parks, you know, um, it's going to have uh, more of an open feel to it. This is going to be have most likely be more like of a larger park. It's going to have more attractions, more things to do here, <clears throat> and it's just going to be an overall larger park overall. So um, I have a lot of plans of uh, what I want for this park to be. And uh, I hopefully I can fit everything into it, and that's going to be my uh, uh, biggest concern there. <clears throat> so my this is the thing is actually connecting these to you know the actual path itself is gonna. I thought it was a challenge, so I was like, well maybe I could try and cover this up and make it look good. And uh, it took many different tries and different angles and different shapes of you know these um, uh, uh, flat roofs, which I use sometimes to for path covers sometimes. Um, and uh, they look really good because you know in you know parks the the pathways aren't always the same texture or colors and random spots sometimes they'll have some different um, you know concrete or different kind of textures and stuff so <clears throat> I tried desperately hard to do this on both sides and make maybe like an interesting design leading up to the ticket booth and just literally trying to cover those um, empty spots because I want it to look like it's just all joined together rather than having those um you know open spots on the sides um but um <coughs> excuse me because i want to also make sure you know that the um um the doors uh of the building are actually ac accessible to the path as well you know but they're going to be locked during operating hours because it's going to be just for employees only so that's going to be those or i can actually probably could put maybe even uh, if i wanted to make that guest relations as well uh, so that'd be kind of an interesting thing as well. Put it all in the same building. That way um, I don't have to make it a separate building for guest relations or something like that. So um, <coughs> after a while, I, I actually uh, come up with a better design of how this pathing works because I keep trying to figure it out and it just wasn't figuring out. That was my phone going off. But anyways, um, so many interruptions and this commentary of this video probably is uh, probably not as good but or as great as it could be. But <coughs> because of all the coughing but <coughs> um let me guys know what you th think so far of this um entrance plaza i love hearing your guys's thoughts about everything and um <coughs> you know uh, of course with the parking lots um uh, coming up with the idea of course of having the walkway uh, i thought that was a good idea as well and i even thought about it you know even the last episode before i mentioned it um before it was mentioned you know it was mentioned but yeah you get the idea but <coughs> So um, I wanted this to have kind of like a cool design, but then I decided to go more with a simplistic kind of shape uh, for this um, path cover. And um, <coughs> what I end up doing is literally just going straight uh, forward and then just having part of it wrap around the path itself, kind of like a sidewalk almost, um, to provide um, just uh, more detail to the path as well. So. And then I was also thinking, you know, this isn't looking that great anyways. So <clears throat> what I do end up doing, finally, um, I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner when I was building it, but um, I finally just settle on, you know, just the straight uh, part right here and just uh, it worked perfectly, probably the best out of uh, everything. So um, again, I probably spent too much time on a lot of different things in this episode, uh, so hopefully that's not going to be a continued trend. We'll see. But um, <coughs> um, I thought it was cool because I thought I would, you know, connect these two together like this. And then just kind of um, go along and, um, you know, make these path covers kind of like almost acting as sidewalks in a way. But uh, just continue it, continuing it um, around, <coughs> you know, the pathway on the edges. <coughs> and it really uh, made the shaping look really nice because... It wasn't completely square when I added these little diagonal pieces that connected to the um, actual uh, real path. And, you know, it actually turned out kind of cool, <clears throat> in my opinion. So, um, we're going to continue that around, and uh, I thought it looked really good. And it took me a couple tries to figure out what I wanted to do, but that actually ended up, you know, looking the best. And uh, I thought it looked pretty good. So, I continued that trend to go all the way around, and uh, it turns out pretty 
pretty cool. So uh, then, of course, I wanted to add some fences here. I thought it would look, um, give it a little nice feel to it. Also, um, make some barriers around this so guests can't just wander off into the unknown. Uh, we want to keep them within the pathways, of course. <clears throat> but I thought this was a very nice modern ticket building, and uh, it looks very unique, modern, uh, kind of a modern-y style. Um, it's kind of simple at the same time, you know, but it still has some nice details to it. And I might add a little bit more to it. I'm not sure just yet. Um, <clears throat> but, of course, before we move on, we want to make sure we get everything done before we move on to the next part of the of the park, of course. So, But I'm very excited. And, um, you know, each idea I get, you know, each, you know, place thing I get completed, you know, it's just more more exciting. Even though we're not even inside the park yet itself, this is still a very exciting moment because... Um, you know, just getting this park together, and I, I know this is going to grow to be a very fantastic park, and I'm very excited for it. So, again, I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on it, and I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. So, going with the trend here, I thought, um, you know, this is transitioning into uh, a different kind of texture of path. Uh, so, I thought I would put just kind of a transition, you know, sidewalk there as well, or kind of like curb. Um, that's kind of evenly placed so it looked good and I also want to add like these little barriers you know <coughs> almost like s tiny little lines for tiny queue lines for the ticket booths as well uh, so if it's a busy day you know um, it kind of keeps the lines controlled a little bit <coughs> as well so uh, they just kind of have like these little little lines that you can uh, get in line for of course and it looks pretty pretty good so I, I continue the trend over here with the um, uh, pathway wrapping around because I felt like this is something that needed to continue on over to the side until um, you know it gets connected to the other <coughs> spot over there so I continue the trend over there and then we just kind of decorate around it and it will look fantastic uh, in the end and when it's all finished so um, I thought this little sidewalk idea looked good, and um, I, I think I'm going to keep it pretty, pretty, pretty positive. I'm going to keep it like this, and it looks pretty decent. So, and then of course we do a little bit of um, decorations around it, and um, create like a, <coughs> you know, um, we used like this hedge actually as the barrier for this spot, and it turned out really, really cool, and it looked actually kind of nice because it was nice and decorative. Uh, because at first I was using these bushes and I was like, wait, I'm going to use the hedges. I don't use the hedges enough. Because uh, uh, sometimes, you know, the hedges can be, you know, you can use those to your advantage. They look really, really nice in and, and parks. And um, a lot of parks use a lot, a lot of hedges and different things like that. <coughs> and all these things. I might use that quite a bit in, in the park. So, and... Uh, so uh, it worked nice as a barrier and just like a nice little place filler for this little de decorative spot over here. And I thought it turned out really nice. Uh, nicer than I thought it would. So it looked really, really good. <coughs> and, um, you know, yeah, I, I just thought uh, the way I kind of patched this up uh, to make the kind of cover up, you know, and where the path wasn't actually there uh, actually turned out really cool. And it looks really nice. And I'm fairly impressed by it. So... Uh, I was impressed with myself, and um, I want to hear what you guys think about this so far. Um, you know, should I detail the building a little bit more, or the ticket booth, rather? And uh, should I detail the area a little bit more? Uh, what, what, what could be added to this area or this plaza to make it better before we get to the entrance of the park? Uh, and I would love to get to the entrance of the park by next episode, but we'll just have to see. Uh, so, going in the mood, <coughs> I was like, well, I gotta get some trees and... Um, bushes in this episode somehow so we're gonna go over here and fill this little gap up a little bit with some trees and uh, bushes and a couple of rocks of course as well uh, because why not you know because it wouldn't be a JLW entertainment park without trees now I will say this one this park's gonna have probably some less trees than Westwood uh, and it's gonna have more of a less feel than uh, you know being you're not gonna be feel like you're in the woods or anything so 
Um, but there's still going to be have my moments where I, where I get to add as me. So that's about it for this episode. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe for more content like this. And hopefully I'll have this dreadful cough um, gone by the next episode. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure I uh, let me know what you guys think. And make sure you guys have a great day and even cooler tomorrow. And I will catch you guys next time. Thank you guys so much. And goodbye.